end time prophecies are clearly at an apex right now and at this point it's a day by day alertness to the inevitable start of the seven year tribulation which is Daniel's 70th week. The first of three end time topics I'll talk about is the nearing four blood moon scenario which has its first red moon appearing this upcoming April 15th 2014 on the Jewish holy day of Passover. I've addressed this coming once in a century heavenly event numerous times in detail at the site and in recent videos for people's understanding. But my first prime point here is that this first blood moon on April 15th is a divine sign of alarm to Israel and this generation of the nearness of the start of tribulation and a sign of the coming judgments without question. My second topic is even more stunning, which is the fact that not even six weeks after this first blood moon takes place in April 2014, then Antichrist himself, the Pope of Rome, will have the global end time spotlight in May 2014 as he makes his first historic trip to Israel. This is an exact match to Daniel 11.21's major prophecy saying that, quote, Antichrist will come in a time of tranquility. Two videos I've put forth in the last 10 months and on November 5th, 2013 detail this time of tranquility and confirm it as being virtually in place right now. Daniel's term, a time of tranquility, refers to Israel not being engaged in any major wars during the short period of months leading right up to the very start of the seven-year tribulation, at which point Antichrist begins taking the global spotlight. So Daniel 11.21 is not only a major prophecy to pay attention to, but will be a literal reality in this upcoming May of 2014 when Pope Francis arrives in Israel. The third prophecy topic I'll address is the very next major end time prophecy to occur in this generation, which is the signing of the foretold seven year agreement by Antichrist. This is Daniel 9.27's prophecy, which states, And he, Antichrist, the Pope, will make a firm covenant with the many for one week, the many being the end-time Jews of Israel. Now I can say without any question that in over 32 years of watching and teaching and writing books about end-time prophecies and knowing they would shape up to an obvious apex, that I've never seen Daniel 9.27's scenario so crystallized and in plain view as it is over the last 18 to 24 months now, especially over the last 10 months since Pope Francis took office in March 2013. In fact, the exclusive list of headlines at heisnear.com pinpoint the riveting reality that the Vatican's and Israel's historic negotiations are ready right now to be signed by both parties, being Antichrist, the Pope of Rome, and Israel's Knesset, precisely as Daniel 9.27 foretells. In closing, the coming first red moon in April and then Pope Francis entering the Holy Land are alarming and tangible signs to this end time generation. Billions of people globally will be watching in real time as Antichrist comes to Israel in May during the very time of tranquility precisely as Daniel foretold. And the Holy Land visit by Pope Francis will dramatically magnify his voice and foreordained Antichrist role on the issue of Mideast peace and leading quickly now to the start of tribulation. However, the sobering fact shown at heisnear.com is that the actual seven-year agreement could be virtually signed by Pope Francis and Israel even before he visits the Holy Land.